Monstera deliciosa is supposed to be one of the easiest plants, but you would not believe how many people are asking for help. But the good news is, we're all doing the same thing. We're all overwatering it. Here's how you could overwater this plant. Start with this mindset to kill your plant. I want to give my plant some room to grow, so I want to give it a big pot. You pick a home that's way too big for your plant. You pick a soil that retains a lot of water. And maybe, maybe you even use this trick to perfectly repot your plant. Now your plant is in its new home, and over the next few hours, it's trying to pull in water through the roots and into the leaves. But it's full. It can't take in anymore. Unfortunately, it's only pulled in water from an insignificant amount of soil surrounding the plant. The soil is still soaking wet, but most importantly, the soil has no oxygen. As days pass, the lack of oxygen is slowly destroying your roots. Plant killing bacteria is thriving in here. A week or two has gone by and you stick your finger in the top two inches of soil. It feels mostly dry, but anywhere past this point is still an absolute swamp. You water your monstera and the whole process starts all over again until the eventual demise of your plant. What you actually want is your plant to go from soaking wet to dry quickly. This is how you do that in four ways. Many of us are not waiting long enough for the roots of our plant to develop. Waiting until you get closer to the ramen noodle zone will help your plant take in more water from the surrounding soil, which will help the plant dry out faster. Many of us are increasing our pot size by far too much. As a general rule, one to two inches in diameter in the standard sizes is a safe choice to upgrade. Smaller size increases means less surrounding soil to stay wet, which will help the plant dry out faster. You can also consider using terracotta, which dries out faster than plastic. Many of us are strictly budget plant shoppers and we're getting the most basic soil, which is fine, but this soil is very dense and it holds a lot of water. You could add substances like perlite or orchid bark to lighten it, giving the roots more oxygen, helping it dry out faster. If you are on a budget, just focus on smaller pot size upgrades and wait until your roots have filled out more of your plant before you start to repot it. This soil can be perfectly acceptable. The most important factor is light. The higher light your plant is in, the faster it can cycle through the water in your pot. If you are living in a tropical or subtropical climate with your plant outdoors in super high light, the less important it becomes to worry about soil, pot type, or even what your roots look like. But for the rest of us, light tends to be the thing that's the most out of our control. We only have certain windows facing certain directions, often obstructed, which leaves us in less than ideal situations. Increase light where you can, but focus on the roots, pot size, and soil, and this plant will be immortal. Overwatering isn't about giving your plants too much water at once. Overwatering is watering your plants too frequently. Actually, no, wait a minute, it's not even that. Overwatering is just creating an environment where there's no oxygen for your roots and your soil isn't drying out quickly enough. If you needed proof that a monstera can survive just about anything as long as it's not overwatered, check out this monstera rescue video.